Lisa is back again. Back again. More pickups. As usual. Close that. This might get curtailed. Might have to re finish it off. Um, but I'll go I'll we'll persevere and go as far as we can and see what happens. We'll just crack on and if we get broke off, we'll get broke off. I'll finish it off tomorrow or something. So apologies in the last video for the ducktails. Apparently that the tune just burnt into people's brains and we're doing their heading. But I've got Dead Dance on in here. Uh, that's hopefully a little bit more easy on the ear. Gradius 3 and 4 and that. Fucking hell. What, what a couple of amazing games they are. The whole Gradius. I haven't even got, I haven't even got to um, play 5 again yet. But yeah, three, uh, three and four, absolutely amazing. They're all amazing, fucking fantastic. Right, we're going to kick this uh, video off with an unboxing. So, oh, first off, I'm, I don't think he watches anymore. But um, Sean Horatio Van Basten, um, he'd shown a picture of what he purchased from this company and said, "Oh, fantastic! Um, can you um, can you drop me the?" Uh, the link to the to the website. I lost it first time around. Anyway, I tried finding it. Couldn't find it. So I, it, bless him. He sent he sent it to me again. So we're going to open it now. Anyway, it's from a company called Tape Line, and they basically supply all sorts. Really, some really random weird stuff. Actually, the the only thing I will say is that the website's a little bit, mm, you know, not. Not the easiest to navigate. They're obviously a fairly small-ish company, um, but the the products are fantastic. Um, anyway, so as you know, if you collect eight-bit stuff, I know it's not your really cup of tea, but if you do collect eight-bit stuff tape, you'll notice obviously, like we've said before, stuff that's you know getting on thirty-five plus years old. The cassette boxes, a lot of them have seen better days, cracked um, a lot of the time. Like, you know, the, the plastic's gone, what's the word, essentially scratch, but it's come sort of dull the plastic. And, you know, it does, like I've mentioned loads of times, a lot of the time I'm just collecting it for the artwork on the bloody boxes. So it's a shame to have the artwork spoilt by having a, a knackered plastic case, if you like. So I'll tell you what, pack this. Pack this well, I will say that. I'll have to shove it in there. I'm no bloody space in here at the minute. It's an absolute bloody nightmare. So, what I did is I got a log, got onto the site, um, and basically ordered a selection of loads of different tape boxes, set boxes essentially for Spectrum Collective. A lot of them I, I didn't really need, um, just went a bit banzai really but I think the suit so cool and, and the the thing is the the unit the unit price is per box is literally pennies but the only thing that I will say is I guess that they've got to cover it somehow is it's it's the postage that kills it so but you know what I won't bother so the first lot I got I think it would be down to 10 or 20 I might have ordered 20 of these I'm not too sure um, I just got, oh no, hang on, what is it? That's, there's all different bloody ones here. Right, so I ordered 10 of these, which is like your staple clear, sort of clear with black, clear and black cases, which, you know, a hell of a lot of specky games do come in. I'm going to end up dropping these all over the bloody place so I can see it. So I've got 10 of them because I know I know I've got way way more than 10 that are already knackered. And then the other staple one is obviously the full clear. So I've got 10 of them. Um the other obviously popular ones are the double jewel cases. So I've got 10 of them. And then we got a bit sort of random here. So we've got Clear and red. <laughs> Don't ask me why. 
That's why I got them. We've got these are pretty cool. We've got they got three smoked ones, uh, and then we've got what else did I get? You know me and uh, fucking day glow green. So we've, we've got three of them, and we've got an or a random orange one and a blue. Sort of blue and clear. It's hard to see in this light, isn't it? But yeah. Do you know what though? Super chuffle. And I'll tell you something, right? They're probably the best service I've had on anything. It will literally hear the next day. From placing the order at lunchtime on the Tuesday, it landed on the Wednesday. Couldn't believe it. Fantastic. Who did they use? Who were that carrier? Who did they use? Who did they use? Anyway, that's the. I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description, but it's it, the cold tape line. Fantastic, fantastic. Really happy with that. Just a bit heavy on the postage, but I get it. I, I totally get it. Not a problem. Needed them. Needs must get them. So. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for posting the link twice to me. Well happy with them. Let me shove them in there. We've got quite a lot of random pickups and all actually, but shitloads again. Well, not shitloads, but plenty. Um, as of late, we'll we'll kick off with carrying on with eight bit theme, specky theme. As as people know now, it's me, me sort of my focus of my collection. That and that and Super Famicom. Other things are sort of like dropped on the periphery for now. But you know, we we change, don't we? We change his minds. Who cares? Um, not a lot has been going out of the collection. I haven't really, I haven't slimmed down anything really. Um, apart from no, not certainly not in in terms of games. But the focus is generally now. It's, I guess the, if we pick four that are real, the real focus. It's Specky, Super Famicom now, um, Master System. Uh, and Nintendo, box Nintendo, and then you've got like things like you, you know, PS One is still there, just trickling in. Um, I've got some PS One here actually, but yeah, just trickling in at the moment is PS One. But anyway, so let's crack on with these. And so these, yeah, mainly off eBay. I think I think I've got a couple off. I've been trying to get as many as I can off Facebook from from groups. Um, Sinclair for sale. Got a bit of a bollocking on there actually. Got a bit of a. I got a verbal warning for posting an eBay link. I'm not allowed on that one. But it, um, yeah. So anyway, I've, this is definitely off off eBay. It's one of them games where the the sequel is nowhere near as good, in my opinion. Anyway, um, it's the fantastic thrust um, on Firebird label. Budget label one ninety nine. Is it the silver? Yeah, silver range. This. So I've got, I've got number two here actually. But yeah, um, one's made way better, way better. It just is. Is it on the silver? Yeah, they were both on silver range. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that I've got both of them now. Anyway. Um, next one, I think I got this potentially off one of groups. I can't remember. Um, love the artwork. It's Cavalon, one of the the original Ocean set, if you like, the 48k set. Fantastic artwork, that. Not played it yet, not tested it. I don't think I've tested any of these, to be honest. Um, this one came up on eBay. Now, I, I'd been looking for original release. Uh, this was probably a, a bit of a pissed up buy, but do you know what? Even, even, even this sort of cover sort of cover tape release of version of it if if you want to call it that even this one don't pop up much i'd love i think mr bads has got the the proper the real mccoy version of it but I'll, i've got it on me you know on my search list if it ever comes up I'll, I'll try and get it but happy enough with this for now it's mutants like i say i think that is a cover cover tape version it is anyway because it's got the so it's got plus nightbreed Nightbreed playable demo as well, but happy enough for now. They're only like three quid or something, that's why I got it. 
most of these are pretty cheap um, this one I got again off eBay double jewel case one had to get it I'm not overly impressed with version with part of it if I love the game though it's one of my favorite one of my favorite sort of arcade games is this um, nothing can beat the Mega Drive version for me um, but anyway we've got it it's Strider US Gold Capcom game I think this were about between five and ten quid. It's not it's not cheap cheap, it's it's at least a fiver I think, but yeah, I had to get it. This one uh came in a nice little I won't take it out, I haven't even opened it. But lovely box. Shall I open it? I should open it really, can I? I'm showing you it, open it. Okay, I'll take it. Don't make it easy. Nope. Has he put two lots of right across just to make it doubly hard? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We're in, we're in. Lovely artwork again. It is Wakelin, I'm just seeing his uh, little signature on there. I wasn't sure if it were or not, but yeah. It's Gift from the Gods, so that's a lovely condition, is that one? Sort of small, smaller big box, we'll call it. Oh yeah. Look at that for a minty manual as well. That is mint. Yeah. Happy with that. Yeah, that's lovely, is that? I wonder if that was it's got a nine ninety nine price tag on there, can you see? I wonder if that was its original price. Yeah, so like I said, not tested these, but looking, hopefully I'll uh, get around to testing them this week and having a bash on it. I can't get it back in there. I'll, I'll keep it out of that now anyway. Um, another fantastic game, Amiga game. Not sure what the specy port's like because I've never played it. I think it said that it had, in essence, got most of the original, you know, the everything will be um, compared to the Amiga version but it's got most of the game um, the, the sort of the main part of the game just slightly simplified down obviously um, to 8 bit but it's a fantastic Shadow of the Beast by Gremlin graphics on the on the smaller the smaller sort of cardboard box again double tape do you think I'll ever get to load the second tape up? Probably not. But nice little manual as well. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Honest, honest sort of condition. We've got a few dinks and rubs. But yeah, well happy. Well happy with that. And the last Spectrum game. Now this is one of my favourite artworks by any you know, on any specky game, this are just so iconic, so you know, etched etched in the memory forever. Favorite arcade games, um, just just simply awesome. It's the epic Afterburner big box on the Spectrum by Activision. I need to try and get that fifty off. Um, but on this on this version, so this is why I wanted it. This is why I paid a little bit more. Look at this. You don't often see this. Now this is super super cool. Look at that is going on the wall, man. Look at that. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, you've got. Manual uh, in good condition, super condition, really is. I did sort of pay out a little bit for this because a lot of them are battered, shall we say. I mean, even this has got its, you know, I'm not saying it's perfect by any means, but it will be sort of best of the bunch available. So I think I paid at least a tenner for this because of that sort of that poster. But 
more than happy to. Brilliant. Um, right. Got this bundle, PS1 bundle. All wrestling games. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they're like, I mean, but I've never, I don't think I've ever played them. If I have, I won't remember them. Um, but we've basically got, they're all quite late titles, but it was such a good deal. I think it was right, wait. Eddie, pipe down. You're all right. I'm just here. You don't need to cry, mate. Uh, yeah, all, all pretty late titles, but it's such a good... I think it was like £7.50 for these, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get... And do you know what? They're absolutely mint condition. So we'll do them in, in numerical order, as I like to do. So we'll start at SLES 01980, and it's... WF Attitude. I think there's just one that has a, that's missing manual, sadly. But I'll tell you what, and it, you could tell you a decent size. You know, it bubble wrap just to protect the disc bouncing out. But every disc is there isn't a scratch on it. I promise you, not a scratch on. And the boxes, the boxes have barely got a scratch on as well. You don't know if you can see in that light, but. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, I mean, I'm tempted to use these boxes to be honest for better games. Might have to do. Uh, next one, SLES 02535. It is hardcore EC ECW Hardcore Revolution. Don't know what these like, guys. If anyone, please do let me know in comments if there's any of these sort of five that are is definitely worth playing. I'm sure you guys. Just not into wrestling, really. I wish I were, but I'd be lying if I said I were. That's that one. The next one is SLES 02, sorry, 02619. It's WF Smackdown. Again, completely manual. All got these little bubble wraps in. So you can tell they've, they've come out of his personal collection. Maybe we're getting rid of them because we're so shit, I don't know. Next one, Smackdown 2, SLES 03251. Completely manual again. Is it the last one that hasn't got it? Oh, oh no! What am I thinking then? Well, some of them didn't have a manual. Well, these have all got manuals. Hmm, interesting. Getting confused with some of them, my old age. Backstage Assault, anyway. I mean, judging by the graphics, I mean, yeah, so this is literally back at backstage wrestling. <laughs> that might be good fun. They're probably all good fun. I'll give them a bash. Yeah, and the last one, SLES 3251, Smackdown 2. Or did I think I've already showed you this one. Anyway, that's the five. Give us a shout if anyone's played in the M5, because I will be interested to know if, if there's a decent one in there. I don't know, maybe that looks like that hardcore revolution. So look at that one. I'll give them a try anyway. But it, you know what? For seven and a half quid posted, absolute no brainer with that, especially in that condition. So chuffed with that. Um, next one. Now this would definitely from. Facebook deal. I can't remember his name though, I should have wrote it down. He basically put up a load of NES. They're not stellar titles by any means. Um but it's a you know willing to split. So I I just jumped on it as fast as I can because a lot of time you know they just get you know. Um so I believe they're all complete. They're not in great condition, if I'm being honest, the boxes, um, sadly. But it is what it is. I think they were, they were... I can't remember the price. They weren't expensive. They weren't expensive by any means. Um, anyway, the first one is Track, track and Field 2. I think they're all Palais, I believe. So let's just take it out. So we've got... Completely manual. 
but in a non a non Nintendo slip case. But I think the man in terms of the um oops, I've lost the covers loose on that, sorry. That's what it was with that one. Um in terms of label condition that's absolutely fine. Um Yeah, apart from the loose cover, the man, you know, the manual's honest copy, to be fair. Not that doggy eared at all, just a bit loose. Um, has it got the... So we're missing, we're missing the, um, the polystyrene bottom for that as well. But the, yeah, it's the boxes that let them down, if anything, so might have to... So we're missing that flap on that side, look. It's a bit splayed out at the bottom, but I'm sure if I follow Mr. Tutti's advice, we can do something with that to spruce it up a bit. So I'm trying to put that back, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a bit. They are a bit sort of a bit conscious. Putting them, I don't really want to be handling them too much. Put the I'm trying to get the manual in. Don't want to damage. Like I said, I'm a bit, a bit nervous actually taking it in and out all the time. <clears throat> that's that one. See if we can. So that's that one. Track and field two. The next one. Um, where have I put them? Yep. Yeah. Is Mission Impossible. Like I said, I don't think the I think the fairly reasonably priced games these anyway. But let's see what this one was. Can't remember. Oh, so we've got a um, yeah, cool. Again. Cart and labelling pretty much tip top condition. This time we've got the Nintendo slipcase or sleeve, whatever you know it as, and then manual as well. Brilliant. Has it got the polystyrene bottom? Nope, no, it hasn't, but it doesn't matter. We can get them anyway, can't you? So, yeah, again. Box, I guess I've seen better days. Probably a little bit better condition than track and field. Pretty honest, really. Not too critical age of them. I mean, top flap flappage has got both sort of tabs. So they're both present anyway. Probably could do with a bit of an iron. But yeah, probably better than than the other one but yeah well happy with that um what did i do with that other one now right so the last one got on there. stealth atf that's a cheap game this but it were it were a brilliant deal i can't remember what it was so again box seen a bit of action So yeah, cart and label, good nick, really good nick. Sadly, non-Nintendo slipcase this time. But I will say this, the manual's in really lovely condition actually. It looks a bit of fudgy this game, it looks alright actually. Like I say, there's a definitely sort of lower tier Nintendo games these, but yeah, so again, the box, yeah. Yeah, so you can, we're missing a flap again on this one. Very delicate. Getting a bit sort of tired on them corners. But they're complete. And they were super cheap. So that fucking hell, that, that flap's hanging on by a thread, look. Clinging to life. 
to be careful with that. I'll put them in, so I've got some uh, protective cases anyway, so they'll go straight in there afterwards. If, if I think I can, like I say, do something with them based on Stuart's advice, I'll, I'll try. I just don't want to. That bottom, that bottom edge is a bit, bit iffy to say the least, isn't it? Pop that, that back in. But once, you know what? Once they're in the cases, you don't even, you don't see most of the damage anyway. But yeah, well happy with that. So I can't remember your name. I'm sorry, but it was a cracking deal. It was one at mainstays. I'm. Don't think it might. What it retro realm of. And the last two items, we've got two more Super Famicom games. These are belters. Well, one came from Japan, but I'll show this first. Um, this one, what what story with this? So this one's off eBay. They're both off eBay. Um, I believe it's one of the oddballs where the the Super Famicom version actually goes more for more than the. Super Nintendo, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. And it's SNES collectors, but I think now the reason why this was fairly cheap is the condition. It's not super super great, but I love the game. It's rock hard though. I always sort of come back to it. Um but I've put I've played this on and off for years and I've never really got that far on it, but I wish I were better on it. Anyway, it's super Star Wars. Mm. See, I think it's exactly the same artwork actually as the um, the SNES version, isn't it? But yeah, I think in in good condition. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, in good condition on the on the SNES. Oh, sorry, on the fa on the Super Famicom. This can go for like forty, fifty quid more. Whereas I think the similar condition on the SNES version. It, not as not just not there, there were a difference all or not anyway i'm talking shit probably anyway carts in its lovely baggy absolutely fine manuals absolutely fine as well um it's just the um the pot and you don't get me wrong but it's not absolutely battered we, we're missing a flap again um and we've just got so i guess just on this edge where a little bit, probably a little bit more, than, <laughs> a bit more than honest. Then, all right, we'll, 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 we'll it, yeah, it is what it is. Again, once I can manage to get some bloody Super Famicom box protectors, we'll be right. But I'm still waiting. Still haven't managed to get any yet, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, but yeah, I think I think I got this for about fifteen quid. So, looking at what better better condition Super Famicom ones were going for, I were happy. I were happy to pay that. And it were an English seller, so yeah. So that was that chuffed. And the last game I've got to show you. So this came all the way from Japan. Um, the guy were, which you do get like I don't know if I've said before, but a lot of Japanese sellers sometimes are a little bit nervous about shipping to more sorts of states, I think, because they get seem to get a lot of complaints and for whatever reason, probably customs or the length of time. But I'll tell you what, this came within I don't know, ten days, if that, probably probably less. Couldn't believe how quick it came. And I don't know what the crack is at minute we we're paying import charges, but there were nothing on this. So I don't know. I don't know if it were pre-added on through eBay or what. But um anyway, it is and and I played it on the emulated version. It's a cracking little boxing game. It's a a sheet of no joe. Uh, and yeah, it's in my Super Famicom box art collection. I, I won't say it's super brilliant artwork, but it's in condition-wise, it's it's bloody lovely. It's all right, and it's like I say, playability-wise. I mean, that's decent artwork. 
I don't know if it, I don't think this had, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it had a Western release. I think it is um, a Super Famicom exclusive, I think. Um, let's open it up. Complete with manual. The manual's fucking mint. Look at that. When you think of age. We've got some... Has he put this in? Looking for a, a year date on it. Anyway, it's got some for, and that's his, that's the seller actually. Anyone that that looks for Super Famicom on um, on eBay, will, will know they say it's right. Uh, plan, Ryo plan, big seller. And then the, I mean the the car had that little piece of paper wrapped around it. So that's the car. I think that was 20 quid. Sod all. So if you're willing, like I mentioned, I think it last bit, if you're willing to, you know, just take that leap of faith with these Japanese sellers, nine times out of ten. And they're all, in my experience with buying from Japan as well, they're all got such good integrity, them sellers. That, you know, they don't mess about. They're not there to... Like you get a lot of British sellers and you're pissing about. They're, just, they're really honest, and they look after the stuff as well. I mean, look at look at that flappage on that. Look at that. So that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well chuffed with that. So another two, another two Super Famicom games into the collection. Like I say, I'm desperate for some uh, for some box protectors now. But yeah, super, super happy. Right, guys, that's your lot. I need to try to create a bit of space in this bloody broom cupboard now. Somehow. Right, thank you. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, sub, comment, especially comment. I like his comments. Um, and, you know, put me right on my wrongs. Um, it's all a learning curve, isn't it, this collecting like. Um, but, yeah, take it easy, guys. I'll be back soon. Long live the retro.